Yeah, you got Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, Stockholm Syndrome. Yep, you got it. You're a natural born public speaker, and that's a fact. Do you actually feel guilty of what you just told to feel guilty? Focus on actually what we can do. You point it out and show it to me. You have the freedom to do what you want to and be what you want to in America. What are we going to do about it? What to press me? Just saying. It's on the CRT stuff and BS. What the deal, yo, people? Yo, welcome to my channel. I am Ty Smith, and this channel is called Modern Renaissance Man. Moi. If you have uh, not been on this channel and you're fairly new to it, continue to explore the channel and see what it's all about before you subscribe. If you are not new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Check your subscription. Make sure you are still subscribed to me. Hit the bell notification. If you guys don't believe that people get unsubscribed from my channel, all you got to do is just read a few comments. You will see people saying things like, I checked mine too, Ty, and I've been unsubscribed. I had somebody say, hey, I subscribed to you three days ago, and I've already gotten unsubscribed from you. Just continue to check that. I know y'all get tired of me saying this, but it's a real legit thing. And I'm going to show you a video of how it jumped like the Dominion machines did the election. I'm going to... I know some of y'all not going to get that. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy what I'm doing. And do not forget to share, share, share. It is up to you guys for this message of a lot of people that think like I do and talk like I do to get out. Y'all can just tell some friends about it. Hey, check one friend. Just, hey, check this guy named... Check this guy named Modern Renaissance Man now. Da, 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 da. Leave it at that. And then have that person do the same thing too. This stuff gets spread by you guys, okay? So I appreciate that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and jump on into this, folks. And I know because folks just been getting upset, and I love it. I mean, the more you get upset at me about talking about Black Lives Matter, you just have no idea that you're just putting gasoline on the flame. So stop. Stop. You have Stockholm Syndrome is what you do. You have Stockholm Syndrome is what a lot of people do. Candace Owens did what she did by showing it to Patrice Cullors' house. I did what I did by showing you guys a video and also did what I did by doing a little <laughs> spoof on her with the fake crocodile tears and everything like that. Right. So it just amazed me. And I knew I, it happens because I've, I've done stuff a lot in ministry. I've worked with people before I even got in ministry. I was counseling people that was uh, being abused in relationships. Right. So for a long time, for the life of me, I could not understand why they kept on going back. To the ones that were abusing them. I mean, where I grew up at, we seen women getting a living daylights beat out of them. And I'm not going to say his name or anything like that. But I mean, I had to sit there and be terrified witnessing one of my uncles beat the living daylights out of his girlfriend. And when that happened and it was over with, we thought he was going to kill her. I mean, she was gone. And then it was like, within some days, she was back. And we could not understand that. We couldn't understand it at all. Like, why in the world? Did she come back after he beat her up? We was, we I mean, we're like, didn't she, we saw it, but didn't she feel what we saw? He, man, and then on the streets, man, we seen dudes, man, beating the living daylight out of when we seen pimps doing it to these women, just beating the stank out of them, y'all, hitting them like men, kicking them, punching them, kicking them in the stomach and stuff like that. And then days later, they came back. Ty, why are you saying all this? Because a lot of people that have been following Black Lives Matter, y'all don't want to admit it, but you have Stockholm Syndrome. You have Stockholm Syndrome. Candace almost speaking out against Black Lives Matter. Other people, Brandon Tatum, ABL, the Hodge Twins, um, Right Wing Angel, Jericho Green, my guys like that, they are speaking out against these organizations like this. And it just behooves me that one of the first things y'all do is y'all make up excuses. Y'all start saying the craziest things out there. Like people responding, oh, you know, you might be skin folk, but you ain't kin folk. Oh, Candace Owens is a grifter. Ty, you are a grifter. Brandon Taylor, y'all start throwing all these things out there at us. Like we really care about it because we really don't. But the point of saying all that is you're deflecting from the fact that you are the one that got played. I got told today by somebody that's supposed to be like really into black people and all that. He said, I'm doing this because I want to pander to the white people. How many times have I heard that? Come up with something new. That doesn't work on me. Come up. I mean, give me something different. Can you give me something new? Pandering to white people. So Ty Smith is a black guy. Patrice Kohlers is a black woman. The organization she runs is called Black Lives Matter. She pimped and played black people that donated to Black Lives Matter. Ty Smith, a black guy exposes Candace Owens, a black woman, exposing Brandon Tatum, a black man, exposing ABL, a black man, exposing AB, uh, ABL, a black man, did I already say that, ABL, a black man, uh, Jericho Green, a black man, the Hodge Twins, black man, exposing a black organization for pimping, fraudulent, stealing black people money, but we're only doing it so we can pander to white people. That makes a lot of sense. So again, y'all, 
I, I love when y'all come because I, I don't want to come back at y'all to say like, boom, I hit you back. But I'm just showing you that's not going to work with us. But we're trying to show you guys. We are here trying to help y'all understand. Do you see that you're being abused? You are being abused, but you keep on making excuses for your abuser. Well, if Candace would have showed up at my house, I would have been mad too. What? For one, Candace did not show there. She did not show up with a bunch of protests with bricks and rocks and out there saying, you know, lock her up. Lock her up. She went up there. And I cannot wait for her to release the video because I would like to see it. She went up there. She um, rang the doorbell. She said she talked to y'all saw the video. Just go watch the video I posted. Just go watch the video. The thumbnail says your boop is mine. With Candace Owens on there, Patrice Cullors on there. Go watch it. Candace is showing you in live, to real time. Patrice going live on Instagram and Patrice shut off the comment section and all that. She's showing you guys that. But some of y'all instantly, when y'all seen that, I, I'm telling you, listen to me. Your Stockholm Syndrome mental illness kicked in. Instead of sitting there saying, wait a minute. Let me hear what Candace is saying about what this woman just did to me. Y'all start making up excuses. Well, she didn't have to show up in there and ring her doorbell. I mean, if somebody would have woke me up out of my sleep, it, come on. Really? Stockholm Syndrome. Stop making excuses for your abuser. So, to make it a little bit more, you know, easy for some of y'all to understand, these women that I've seen getting beat by these men, they will come up with excuses. Oh, well, I, you know, it was me. I made him mad. Or, oh, yeah, he did tell me that he wanted me to, um, hand wash the dishes instead of put them in the dishwasher oh well it's something that i did i knew that he was like that but it's just that it was my fault because i never should have got him in that mood right when i knew he was getting mad i should have calmed him down no he's not supposed to be beating you like that plain and simple i know he got mad but he's not supposed to be beating you like that in other words he's not supposed to be doing you wrong like that you've been you are being done wrong you deserve better is what people but then guess what if you can't get that person to believe that they deserve better, some people, I mean, it's sad. They, some people, you just, they cannot get out of it. You want to know why? Because everybody have a different background that they came from, right? But at the same time, some of you don't care what type of attention that you are getting as long as you're getting attention. These girls that my family, them had, that they was hoeing, whoring, prostituting, them girls would do anything for a lot of my, for my uncles and my older male cousins. As long as my male cousin then was kind of giving them some attention. Yeah, yeah, this girl here, she my finest one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, keep on doing it. Yeah, this this my number one hoe right here. She, she can, man, she she didn't went through seven niggas in one night. She, she, she's feeling all good about something. So she's getting a positive feedback loop for doing something negative. Y'all get it? She's getting a positive feedback loop for doing something negative. You're getting a positive feedback loop for going out there and bro, like, like y'all, I mean, God, Lee, y'all tearing up, y'all tore up the neighborhoods, tore up our own people's neighborhood. But because some, but because y'all was getting attention in the news, you're getting positive feedback for doing a negative thing. Y'all think y'all doing something that's revolutionary and it's not destroying our own people's stuff is revolutionary. We speak out against black people killing black people, but we're pandering to white people. We speak out against black organizations pimping black people and taking their money. But we're only doing it to pander to white people. We're speaking out about black fathers not being in the homes and being real dads to their children, but we're doing it to pander to white people. Listen to yourself. You sound stupid that your only excuse you want to keep on giving is folks trying to pander to white people. Think, think with your mind. Don't, 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 don't give me any type of regurgitated stuff that you keep on hearing everybody else that don't like what me or people like myself that think like this do. I'm not the one It's not going to work on me. I want you to use your brain and think. I want you to take your emotions out of it, take your pride out of it, and look at it for exactly what it is. You have Stockholm Syndrome. You have sympathy for the devil is what you do. It's called sympathy for the devil. You have feelings because you gave yourself to it. And it made you feel good. You thought you were doing something good. And it kept on giving you, making you feel good, making your efficacy uh, increase. You're getting affirmations. You're seeing yourself on TV. You're seeing all these things and feel like that is a good thing that's been done to you. And they're sitting out there and they're pushing you to go out there and keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. Then you're going out there and doing it. You're looking back like you, I just did it. I did it. That's right. You guys go out there. You fight. You And then Hawk Newsome. Because if they continue to do things like this, there's going to be bloodshed. There's going to be fires. There's going to be looting. There's going to be burning. There's going to be flipping cars. 
We are tired of this. And folks up there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be specific about what you're tired of, what, what, what they do to you. So what we're going to do, we're going to get out there. We're going to tear up our own neighborhoods. We're going to burn them down. We're going to sit there and burn down convenience stores that's owned by black people too. All of it has to burn down. We're going to be violent. We're going to tear down our zones. That's, that's, that's actually general managers that own, general managers that franchise out. They're black too, but we're going to burn it all down. All in the name of the injustices that's been done on our people by our people. But we're disenfranchising in these bad neighborhoods because of our people. Come on, man. Do you get it? Some folks, y'all still are not going to get it. Look, I'm telling you, I understand because I've been there. I've been there. I was blinded by a lot of this stuff as well. I've been there. So when it all comes down to it, this mental slave plantation that a lot of people are on, I can't help but the ones that want to get out of it, I'm grabbing your hand. I'm helping you escape. But the ones that want to stay there and keep on making excuses for master, I can't do nothing with you. That's why I don't argue with y'all. It's going to be more of like, hey, you want to you get off the mental plantation? All right, Kimmy, I'm going to show you how we do it. Hey, do you want to get off the mental plantation? Uh, no, just answer the question, yes or no. Okay, no. No, see, you grifting. You, okay, okay, okay. See, I don't have time to sit there and try to prove to you because all you're trying to do is deflect on the fact that you're still there. Some people don't know what it's like to be free, and they fear that. They fear being responsible. They fear being accountable. They fear personal responsibility because guess what? The blame can be pushed on somebody else. Just like you just seen. I just gave y'all the, I just gave you a classic example of that. They fear that. Oh no. Well, look at Patrice Collins right now. Personal responsibility. What does she do? Uh, they showed up at my house. This is not right. I fear for my children. All of a sudden you the victim. Now you are the victim when you actually are the one that pushed people to go out and do what they did. But all of a sudden she's the victim now. Come on now, please stop all this. Get out of it. You have Stockholm Syndrome. Stop making excuses for your abuser. I know you gave your money. I know you gave your time. Some of y'all quit your job. Some of y'all, you got out there and you marched. I know you felt a sense of unity. I know because of that, because it felt so positive, you don't understand it. It throws off your brain because you're getting a positive feedback for a negative thing. You're getting a positive feedback loop for doing a negative thing. And because it feels like you was doing something right, you can't logically and intellectually see yourself through it and see that you actually done something wrong. It's okay. Repent from it. That's it. Denounce it. I don't want to have anything to do with them anymore because of what they did. But do not sit there and still be stuck in this abusive relationship of keep on trying to make excuse for the one that's abusing you. But like I said, some folks don't want to leave them in the plantation. They just want to stay there because just like those hoes and whores that my cousins them had, my old uncles and all them they had, some of y'all, if you didn't get that type of attention, you wouldn't get the attention at all. If, they, if you weren't sitting there, look, metaphorically speaking, folks, on this, if they weren't sitting there beating you and pushing you and giving you that positive feedback loop to do something negative, you probably wouldn't have no attention at all. No attention, just none. So you just rather stay there because some folks is giving you some sort of attention. And that's a real dangerous and a real sad spot to be in because just like now, when they, I told y'all they was going to dip on you and do you wrong, and now you're sitting there like, but... Uh, but 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 last thing i'm gonna leave y'all with is this uh, i had a family full of fellas good looking fellas my family has some good looking men i'm just telling you no, just, but uh they would they were players they were players and me being the type of person i am i sometimes would tell hey you know my uh you know my cousin such and such he playing you right he was literally over our house just a minute ago with tasha I'm just telling you, they went upstairs. I mean, yeah, I'm telling you, you're being played. No, no, he said I was this. He said, no, they wouldn't, he wouldn't do that to me. He wouldn't, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, you're being played. No, 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 because he told me I was his main squeeze. He told me he was done with her. So you just saying stuff like that because you like me. You just saying it because you you probably want her too. You, you won't touch her. That's why you want him to break up with her. So he, no, wait, why did you say I want him to break up with her? I, Huh? No, I, I know what it is. You want me. You just jealous. That's what. No, I'm serious. I'm, just, I'm not jealous or nothing like that. I don't even care about having a girlfriend right now. I'm trying to get my way through school. I'm just letting you know my cousin was just up there with Tasha. That's all I'm trying to tell you. He's playing you. You seem like you're a cool girl and all that. You got a really good heart. You're sweet. But I'm just letting you know he's playing you. You just want me. Okay, I'm done. I can't believe he did this to me. You got played. You got played. But then guess what? Some of them that are some stupid bimbos, 
He can sue them and talk them up a good game. No, 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 no. See, don't, don't believe that. He's just a hater. He's just a hater. That's exactly what y'all are doing right now. Candace Owens is just a hater. Ty Smith, you're just a hater. Brandon Tatum, just a hater. ABL, just a hater. Jericho Green, just a hater. Hodge Twins, just haters. Right Wing Angel, y'all some haters. Y'all all just some haters. Christian Conservative, Kevin's Corner, y'all some haters. Y'all just don't like y'all own race. Y'all just haters. Y'all just always belittling us. We're belittling you by telling you the truth. We're belittling you by showing you the truth. But yet at the same time, I guess black people, I guess we so used to being duped and being done wrong. We just so used to it. It's almost like it's become a part of our, what, our attitudes, our behaviors. We, we, we expect, we expect this type of treatment towards us. So we just accept it. Right. You know, we, 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 we expect black people to kill black people. So it's more acceptable. Right. We expect black people to stay in the ghettos and the hoods like they are right now because it's more acceptable. Right. But then somebody come along and tell you, you don't have to be there. They're the enemy now. Because white people all of a sudden just, mm, we just became taken over by the white people and we're just trying to get the black people out because we want black people to just to, does that make sense to you? I'm getting ready to get out of here, folks. I'm just telling you right now, some folks are still not going to get it. They're going to still come and make up excuses. Watch in the comment section. I don't, by the way, I don't delete comments. I'm all about freedom of speech, but I'm telling you right now, God is my witness. YouTube censors comments. They do. If they don't like something that you're saying, they will, they will, they will take it down. I don't take it down. I want to see all y'all comments. Because I try to do my best to respond to them. But I guarantee you, there's still going to be people out there right now. If you don't believe me, just go to any of the videos I posted in the past five days. Look at the comment section with the videos I did on uh, Patrice with Candace Owens being there. Look at the comments on there, what people are saying. Stockholm Syndrome. They always try to find some excuse for the one that's abusing them. Well, look at Candace Owens. She ain't got no right. Well, look at her. She, what about when she, what, what? No, 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 no. Quit trying to deflate. We talking about what's going on right now. Last thing I promise. It's just like with my sons. I told my sons one time, my sons are 20 and 18 years old. When they were younger, I told one of them, my oldest son, I said, look, if your brother hits you, you come and tell me, okay? Because you cannot get him like I can get him, okay? Now, my, both of them come, dad, dad, what's going on? He, he, he. So wait a minute, so both of y'all hit each other. Yeah, but no, no, no. Oldest one, what did I tell you? But he, no, no, uh, 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 uh. What did I tell you? I told you not to hit him, didn't I? I said, if he hit you, what did I tell you to do? I said, come and tell me, didn't I? Now both of y'all about to get in trouble. But what happened? The oldest one didn't listen to what I told him. I told him if, if something happens, you come and tell me. But did he do that? No. So now both of them are in trouble. If he would have told me, then that one would have been in trouble. So what am I saying that for? Because the ones right now, Patrice got busted on what she did. And some of y'all right now, y'all still trying to deflect like what my son did. But but Candace did. But can't no, no, no. Just look, you got played. You got duped. We told y'all from the beginning, don't do this because they said it on their website what they were about. They just had these different play on of words and they just worded things a certain way. I'm just being honest with y'all. Some of you guys seem like you didn't have the mental capacity to understand the wording in there, but we seen what they were doing all along. And here it is unfolding right there. And y'all still want to be mad at us. Well, see, there's just another black man trying to bring a black woman down. Oh, stop. You got played. You got done wrong. Accept it. Turn away from it. Nobody's going to hate you for it. I just want to grab your hand and pull you on out and wash you off and say, now be clean. Now move on. Do better next time. Watch out. Don't let this happen to you again. But some of y'all, no, nope, my pride. Just black people always just trying to hate black people. I don't like Candace anyway. Hmm. She thinks she all that. I don't like this time. You're not a modern renaissance man. You're not. Dude, it's not going to help you. You're the one that stuck with this. Not me. I'm good. I've been good since day one with this. I'm just trying to seriously help you out. It's not a prideful thing. It's not an aha thing. It's a I'm trying to help you out so you can do better in life. Plain and simple. Anyway, I blabbered on a little too much, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget if you like what I'm doing thus far, give the video a thumbs up so it can be circulated. Don't forget if you are new to the channel, get an idea what this channel is about before you commit to subscribing to this channel because you really don't know me like you think you do. I know you like what I've been saying thus far, but I might say something that you might not like. You know, I'm not coming to your channel anymore. Leave y'all comments in, uh, leave your comments below after the video, all right? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray the last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.
what's going on everybody so hey check this out i appreciate you guys watching i appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos do not forget to subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up and also right here is where you can catch the next video the latest video that i've done but like right up here this is stuff that i've done kind of in the past so in this area you might find a video that i've done in the past it can be funny it can be something serious it does not matter but this is something that you can also do to check out more material that i do in my channel because i do a lot in this channel all right so again appreciate everything from you guys keep on watching it keep on supporting it and god bless you all